हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन ओवर सिक्स टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सेवन टाइम्स एक्स प्लस टू प्लस वन ओवर ट्वेल्व टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सेवनटीन टाइम्स एक्स प्लस सिक्स दिस इज इक्वल्स टू एट टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स टाइम्स एक्स प्लस वन हियर वी विल फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड एक्स बिलोंग्स टू रियल नंबर हियर लुक केयरफुली दिस एल्जेब्राइक इक्वेशन सो फर्स्ट वी विल फैक्टराइज दिस क्वाड्रेटिक दिस क्वाड्रेटिक एंड this quadratic we have 6 times x square minus 7 times x 6 times x square minus 7 times x plus 2 if we factorize this quadratic here we will apply middle term split 6 times x square minus 3 times x minus 4 times x plus 2 here if we take common 3 times x then here 2 times x minus 1 and here if we take common Minus two. Then here two times x minus one. If we take common two times x minus one, then we get three times x minus two. So factor of six times x square minus seven times x plus two is this. Now, if we factorize twelve times x square minus seven times seventeen times x plus six, twelve times x square minus seventeen times x plus six. Here we will apply again middle term split. Then twelve times x square minus nine times x minus eight times x plus six. Now look carefully these two terms. If we take common three times x, then here four times x minus three. And here if we take common minus two, then four times x minus three. Now four times x minus three, four times x minus three is common. If we take four times x minus three is common, then you will get three times x minus two. Now, if we factorize this quadratic, that is eight times x square minus six times x plus one, eight times x square minus six times x plus one. Here, if we apply again middle term split, eight times x square minus two times x minus four times x plus one. Here, if we take common two times x, then here four times x minus one. And here, if we take common negative one, then you will get four times x minus one. Now, if we take common four times x minus one, then here four times x minus one and two times x minus one. Now, factor of this quadratic is two times x minus one is multiplied by one over two times x minus one is multiplied by three times x minus two. 3 times x minus 2 plus 1 over factor of this quadratic is 4 times x minus 3 is multiplied by 4 times x minus 3 is multiplied by 3 times x minus 2 3 times x minus 2 and this is equals to factor of this quadratic is 4 times x minus 1 2 times x minus 1. Four times x minus one is multiplied by two times x minus one. Now, here common denominator is two times x minus one is multiplied by three times x minus two is multiplied by four times x minus three. Now, in numerator we have four times x minus three and then plus two times x minus one. And this is equals to four times x minus one is multiplied by two times x minus one. Now, look carefully in numerator. Four times x plus two times x is six times x, and divide by and here minus three minus one that is minus four. And in denominator part we have two times x minus one is multiplied by three times x minus two is multiplied by four times x minus three. And this is equals to four times x minus one is multiplied by two times x minus one. Now, this denominator part is multiplied by in right hand side. Then in left hand side, six times x minus four. And this is equals to in right hand side we have four times x minus one multiplied by two times x minus one. Four times x minus one is multiplied by two times x minus one. And this denominator part is multiplied. By right hand side, then two times x minus one multiplied by two times x minus one multiplied by three times x minus two and multiplied by four times x minus three. 
Now, if we take all the expression in same side, and first in left hand side, if we take common two, then here three times x minus two, and there all part if we take in left hand side, then minus four times x minus one is multiplied by two times x minus one, two times x minus one is two times x minus one whole square, and here three times x minus two. And multiplied by four times x minus three, and this is equals to zero. Now look carefully this algebraic expression. Here three times x minus two and three times x minus two is common. If we take three times x minus two is common, then here two minus four times x minus one is multiplied by two times x minus one whole square four times x minus three, and this is equals to zero. Now product of these two expressions, this is equals to zero. So we can say. Three times x minus two is equals to zero, or two minus four times x minus one is multiplied by two times x minus one whole square is multiplied by four times x minus three. This is equals to zero. Here, if we add both side two, then you will get three times x is equals to two. Then x is equals to two over three. This is first solution. Is two over three. Now, look carefully these part. Here we can say four times x minus one is multiplied by two times x minus one whole square is multiplied by four times x minus three, and this is equals to two. Now here we will apply substitution method. If we substitute two times x minus one, this is equals to t. And look carefully here we have four times x, and here we have four times x. If we multiply both side two, then you will get four times x minus two. This is equals to two times t. But look carefully here. We have minus one, and here we have minus three. So if we add both side one, then in left hand side four times x minus two plus one, and this is equals to two times t plus one. So in left hand side four times x minus one, this is equals to two times t plus one. So value of four times x minus one, this is two times t plus one. Now we have four times x minus two. This is equals to two times t. And here minus three. If we subtract both side one, then in left hand side four times x minus three, and this is equals to two times t minus one. Four times x minus one is replaced by two t plus one. So here two t plus one, and four two times x minus one is replaced by t. So here t is square, and four times x minus three is replaced by two times t minus one. So here two times t minus one. And this is equals to two. Now, in left hand side, t square is multiplied by two times t plus one is multiplied by two times t minus one, and this is equals to two. Now, here we will apply a plus b times a minus b, and this is equals to a square minus b square. If we apply this rule, look carefully these terms. T square is as it is, and here we will apply this rule. Then we can say. Four times t square minus one, and this is equals to two. Now here we will apply again substitution. If we substitute t square is equals to m, then m is multiplied by four times m minus one, and this is equals to two. This m is multiplied by inside the bracket, then four times m square minus m, and this two if we take in left hand side, then this is minus two, and this is equals to zero. This is quadratic equation. Here we will apply quadratic formula. Value of a is four and value of b is minus one and value of c is minus two, and we know that quadratic formula m is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four times a c and divided by two times a. So m is equals to minus and b is replaced by minus one because we know that value of b is minus one. So here minus one plus minus square root of b square and Value of b is minus one, so minus one is square is one minus four times value of a is four, and value of c is minus two. And divide by two times a, and we know that value of a is four, so m is equals to one plus minus square root of one minus four is multiplied by minus two, then we get sixteen and sixty. Sorry, minus four is multiplied by minus two, then we get plus eight, and eight times four is thirty-two. Thirty-two plus one that is thirty-three. So here thirty-three, and divide by two times four is eight. So here value of m is one plus the square root of thirty-three divided by eight, and second value of m is one minus the square root of thirty-three divided by eight. Now this m is replaced by t square. So here 
t square this is equals to 1 plus square root of 33 over 8 and here this m is replaced by t square and this is equals to 1 minus square root of 33 over 8. Now look carefully this is negative and we know that t is 2 times x minus 1 and here we will talk about real solution so if x is real then 2 times x minus 1 is real so if 2 times x minus 1 is real and this expression is equals to t so it means t belongs to real number here t belongs to real number so if t is real then t square is always positive and if t square is always positive and this expression is negative so that's why this case is rejected so our this case is accepted that is t square is equals to 1 plus square root of 33 over 8. Now we know that a square is equals to b then we can say is equals to plus minus square root of t. So here we can say t is equals to plus minus square root of 1 plus square root of 33 over 8. Now t is replaced by 2 times x minus 1. 2 times x minus 1 this is equals to plus minus square root of if we multiply it by numerator and denominator by 2 then in numerator we have 2 plus 2 times square root of 33 over 2 times it is 16 then 2 times x minus 1 this is equals to plus minus square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 33 over square root of 16 is 4 then if we add both side 1 then 2 times x this is equals to 1 plus minus square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 33 over 4. Now if we divide both side 2 then in left hand side x is equals to 1 over 2 plus minus square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 33 over 8. The value of x is 1 over 2 if we take positive sign square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 33 over 8 and third value of x is 1 over 2 if we take negative sign square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 33 over 8. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Till then take care and bye bye.